How you guys doing? I wanted to make a video today about issues that I found in Steam. Um, apparently, it's a very common issue. I've never had it happen to me before until yesterday. Uh, problem is, whenever you go to launch a game, you're going to get a little window to pop up saying game launching. It's going to flash a little black window. It's going to disappear very quickly. And then it's going to tell you that the game is launching again. And it's just going to keep doing that. It will loop constantly. Uh, so there's a couple things you can try to resolve this. Uh, the first step, you're going to right click on the game that is giving you issues. Go to properties. You're going to go to local files. And you click on verify integrity of game cache. This is going to have Steam. Just double check the game files, make sure everything's in place, nothing's corrupted, and nothing's missing. Uh, once that completes, you can try your game again. If you're still not having any luck with it, the next thing you can try to do, this is what worked for me. Um, you're going to go to your main Steam folder. So go browse local files, and just click all the way back until you get to your Steam folder. Then you're going to go to this registry file, clientregistry.blob. You're going to delete this file. Deleting this file actually removes a lot of the registry information off of your system for Steam. You have to make sure that that file is actually deleted though. So don't just put it in a recycle bin because if you do, this will not work. You actually have to empty your recycle bin and make sure it is gone. The next thing you need to do, close Steam completely. Go down, close it out of your taskbar. If you have to control it, delete, make sure you shut it down in your processes. Once it's closed, open Steam back up, and deleting that file actually forces Steam to update itself. Like I said, this is the process that I had to do, and this is what actually fixed it for me. And after doing this, I was able to start playing games again. Um, some of the games I wasn't able to find servers to actually play online, and that resolved that issue also. So hopefully this helps you guys, um, saves you a lot of time having to uninstall and then re-download a game again, which did not work at all. So let me know if this helps, and I will talk to you guys later.